Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbial Chest. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to talk about another culture media that is called Levinston Jensen LG Media. Okay, in the previous video's lecture, we talked about different culture media and we talked about the culture media as well. So, what is Levinston Jensen Media? Let's talk about that. Levinson Jensen uh, medium is actually the selective media that is specially used for the isolation of mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria from the clinical specimen. This media was first of all discovered by a scientist uh, named Levinston and he ate you know some special type of the ingredient like Congo red uh, and malchite green to inhibit the unwanted uh, bacteria. Then after that, another scientist uh, named uh, Jensen. Now Jensen ate uh, other most important ingredient like uh, glycerated egg, uh, glycerated uh, egg based medium. After that, you know, he altered the medium a little bit by adding citrate as well as phosphate component, uh, the, uh, component and remove the Congo red. Due to this way, the mulchid green concentration will increase uh, and they will stop the in, uh, you know growth of other bacteria thus only mycobacterium tuberculosis will easily be grow on this media then another scientist comes uh, and his name was Groft uh, and he you know add uh, some other ingredients uh, like antibiotics and uh, the antibiotics are penicillin, nalidix acid and uh, ribonucleic acid as well now the addition of these uh, uh, most important antimicrobial agents uh, will inhibit the growth of uh, other bacteria like gram positive, gram negative and fungi as well. So only we have mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, which can easily grow on this media. Then we have you know the uses of this media, how we can use this media. This media is specially used uh, for the mycobacterial infection means if we want to isolate mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria so we mostly use this type of the media this media is also used for the antibiotic susceptibility profiling of the mycobacterium tuberculosis because as the mycobacterium tuberculosis uh, cannot grow on other media so if you want to grow or make alone of the mycobacterium tuberculosis on this media so then we can also you know isolate their antibiotic profiling on this media then this media is also used uh, to determine the colony morphology growth rate and microscopy of uh, the other species of the mycobacterium uh, mycobacterium species as well now let's talk about their composition this media mostly contain potato flour 30 gram uh, l aspergine 3.6 gram magnesium citrate 0.6 gram distal water 600 ml nilesic acid 56 gram penicillin 53 gram mulchite green 0.4 gram magnesium sulfate 0.2 gram glycerol 12 ml mono potassium phosphate 2.4 gram egg base 1000 ml rna 0.05 mg milligram okay so these are the most important ingredients. Now let's talk the main function or the principle of this media. So if we talk that this media contain L aspergine and potato flour. So remember guys, the presence of these two ingredients will provide the nitrogen as well as vitamins that are specially you know uh, needed for the mycobacterium growth. Then we have mono potassium and magnesium sulfate that actually specially used to enhance the growth of bacteria like uh, mycobacterium species uh, because it act as a buffer moreover we have you know x suspension this x suspension provide fatty acid protein that is specially required for the mycobacterium tuberculosis because these bacteria will easily metabolize uh, these fatty acid and proteins now when we you know heat the egg albumin so after heating the egg albumin it will you know after uh, heating so the egg albumin become a solidifying just like agar is acting as a solidifying agent but in this case egg albumin is acting as a solidifying agent not only that this egg albumin also providing 
some most important ingredients that are specially needed for the mycobacterium tuberculosis growth. That's why we can use agalbumin instead of uh, agar. Then we have glycerol that uh, act as a carbon source so, and it's specially important for the growth of human tubercle bacilli growth. Then we have the addition of penicillin nalazic acid uh, that uh, with malted green. Now the addition of these three most important ingredients uh, will stop the growth of gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So we have uh, mycobacterium growth only which is the acid fast bacteria. Then we have the addition of RNA that is acting as a uh, stimulating and help uh, to increase the, the mycobacterium isolation rate. So these are the most important ingredient and their function. Now how we can prepare this media? First of all we have to take uh, this LG media and we will weight uh, 37.3 gram uh, and mix it into 600 ml distal water that contain 12 ml glycerol. Now mix all these ingredients by heating now uh, at uh, 60 to 70 or 80 degrees Celsius. After that uh, autoclave this media at 121 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After that uh, you know once the media is autoclave so then add a thousand ml of uh, suspension of fresh egg. After that uh, you know avoid the air bubbles uh, while mixing the media uh, means mixing the thousand ml and mixing the uh, you know 600 or uh, 7 uh, 700 ml LG media now once these things are mixed up uh, so then you know pour uh, cool down the media at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius uh, and avoid the bubble formation now after that add this media into test tubes uh, and uh, place the test tube into slant position after that uh, you know streak your bacterial culture into this medium or mycobacterium uh, or which you isolate from the lungs or from the throat uh, so streak it into this media and uh, wait five to seven days almost or eight weeks uh, because this bacteria can grow at that time so this is how we can you know prepare this media and used then let's talk about the result of this bacteria that how this bacteria will be look like on this media so mostly mycobacterium tuberculosis you know have non-pigment rough dry white creamy or buffy or uh, that are non-chromogenic colonies uh, other uh, mycobacterium species will show lemon yellow red uh, orange colonies which is the chromogenic uh, so as you can see these are the white creamy colonies rough colonies uh, and these are showing what these uh, if we zoom these colonies so it will be look like in this way this green is actually showing the mulched green and it can showing that the other bacteria uh, uh, are stopped so only mycobacterium tuberculosis can easily be grow so that's all about the LG media i hope you guys get idea about that thanks for watching